Hey everyone, Achika here, and it's Wednesday, so that means it's time for another DCUO base showcase. Uh, and today, as you can see, I'm not in my usual layer setup for the intro, and I'm also not in my usual outfit. <laughs> and that's because I'm actually on the EU side. Uh, yeah, I have an EU account now. <laughs> uh, so I can tour all you, uh, all you lovely EU server people's bases. And, uh, today is no exception. Um... Yeah, so uh, as soon as I got established on the EU side and uh, was talking about Base Off and also uh, Base Crafters, which if you haven't seen, is a show that uh, Zoe and Rill and I are doing uh, once a month. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description to our first episode. But um, but yeah, so uh, as soon as that happened, uh, someone reached out to me and told me about their friend who is a decorator here on the game and I should look him up. Uh, and it's Pentagram123, and Penta, she, uh, yeah, she gave me access to all of her bases, and I was, like, super thrilled, and I said, yeah, I'll get to it, like, you know, whenever I get some time during the week, and uh, I think it was that day I had, like, a, a few minutes, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go tour one of these bases, and, uh, yeah, I toured one, and then I toured another, and then I toured probably about 15 to 16 f completed bases, and... They were all absolutely fantastic. <laughs> like, the immersion that she gets with her bases is absolutely insane, and I can't wait to show you guys. So, without further ado, let's jump into Pentagram 123's Rainforest. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I, uh, needless to say, I was a little late uh, cooking myself dinner that night. <laughs> Because I turned so many bases. <laughs> All right. So we start off in a very lush vernal forest. Oh, yeah. This is great. Oh my gosh, like, I'm I'm usually not, like, a super big, like, fan. I really like the tree lines, but I don't like when there's, like, a lot of them. But this base gives... The way they're, like, lined up gives such great immersion that it's just, like... It's it's great. It's it's fantastic. It's You'll get lost in here. So... Oh, man. <laughs> Like, the atmosphere between the rain and the fog is so good. Alright, so let's see here. We got our first hidden treasure here. I love this. I think that's the shrine to Isis, I think? Base item? The goddess of rainbows of Egyptian mythology. God, I love the obelisk, too. <laughs> and this like you could definitely get lost in here like this little entrance I didn't find for a minute here but look at this oh my gosh and this is like the Atlantis base theme too oh my goodness and we come across this awesome beach scene Oh my god, look at that. Alright, let's zoom out a bit here. I did put my Joker backpack on too, so we can fly. Oh man, look at this. Oh my gosh, are those like... Those are the ice walls from the uh, anniversary. I never noticed that. That's cool. Got like a village here. Treetop village. Some very nice sand decorations below. We got some grottos. Ooh. And one of these things does not belong. Looks like there's some kind of tech here in the forest. Oh yeah, this is great. <laughs> Another little grotto here. I think it mirrors the other one. I 
I love these sand castles. I've never been able to like really utilize them before, but this is fantastic. I didn't realize there were three different ones. It looks like there's the Daily Planet one, the Atlantis one, and I don't know what this one is. Is this like... Or is this the Atlantis one just like turned upside down? Actually. I think it's a diff different. I know there's an Arkham Gingerbread House. Maybe there's an Arkham uh, Sandcastle too. I can't really remember. I'm always so busy trying to get like water stuff during the summer season. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at that effect. That is crazy. Ah, I love it. <laughs> All right, let's take a look. See here. Oh yeah. Got some lava peeking through here. Oh. Looks like there's a... Looks like somebody's been here and was dealt with. I love the little skulls at like the base of the obelisks too. See that? <laughs> Got the candles. Very nice touch. Oh, another tree line hallway. Ooh. Gonna zoom in a bit here. Ooh. Oh, that's awesome. So we've got a well here. And uh, again, looks like a, a warning to not go any further. But you know what? We have permission to be here. So I feel like we are safe. As long as we don't touch anything that we're not supposed to. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. I'm gonna go this way first. Ooh, some more water. Very nice. Yeah. Got the waterfall. Alright, well let's go upstairs first here. Ooh. Oh, look at this. It looks like we have some kind of research station here. It looks like they're documenting something or other. Probably the runes of that ancient society we saw back at the, uh, the larger room. Ooh, look at all the waterfalls. So it looks like they set up like a little perimeter for themselves. Uh-oh. Oh, it looks like uh, something definitely befell them. So apparently they're probably not supposed to be here. If uh, this is what happened to them. So maybe we have like some ancient curse put on them or hex by the forest. Or the people of the forest who don't want to be seen or discovered. Oh, so maybe like the ship in the uh, grotto area like belonged to them. It was like a research vessel or something, maybe. Like scouting out the area. Ooh, I love it. Oh my gosh. Look, look, look. Ah, I love this so much. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is, this is why I put my backpack on because I remembered this part. Look at that. It's like an ancient temple, like... Oh, it's like the remnants of like an ancient temple and some like aqueducts or something. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. I love this. Again, the immersion is fantastic. All right. Let's go back down into the forest here. I'm just gonna make sure. <clears throat> yeah, it's just a circle. Hopefully I'm not missing anything. I definitely could get lost here. So Penta, if you're watching, I'm sorry <laughs> if I didn't. Hopefully I've gotten everything. Oh yeah, I got some more of this. Oh yeah, this is very cool. 
That's such a good use of the pillars. Oh, and the freezes. Yes. Yeah, that's good. All right, well, let's keep going down. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Overgrown indeed. I love, like, the tree line. Like, the, I didn't think that tree lines had that much foliage up top because, like, I've never really tried to, like, actually have them close off, like, a ceiling before. But, like, honestly, you don't even need, like, you can, yeah, you could use these, like, on a bottom floor if the room's, like, big enough because there's, like, enough overhang. That's really impressive. Alright, let's, uh, brave the forest a bit more this way. Oh, well, seems like we have a... I think this is a dead end. <laughs> I'm hoping this is a dead end. Yeah, it seems like it. I'm running into walls a bunch, so... Alright. Nice little tidal wave statue. So there is some kind of civilization down here. Ooh, some sure. Oh, I love the fog overhang there. Like, with the... Oh, that looks so cool. Oh my goodness, yes. This is lovely. Oh, and the moon. I actually, yeah, I love this. I love the, the Friendship and Generosity statue. I have one in um, Arcade Athenium's garden, too. Almost like, it's really close to this. Like, it's like nestled between two waterfalls, too. It's just such a nice, peaceful statue to put, like, by some water really nice and oh, oh yes oh my gosh this reminds me of like some legend of the hidden temple stuff you have the golden goddess of the forest and the treasure yep she uh they they were not worthy of the treasure and she cursed them <laughs> That is such a good use of the Harbinger's, like, hologram. Oh my gosh, I love it. Like, I've only ever, like, thought of it as, like, a tech-based item, but, like, seeing it here, like, it just fits in, like, so magically. Like, golden goddess of the rainforest. And the treasure of the people who live here. And then the greedy explorers who try to take it and are cursed. Yes! Oh my god, I love this base so much. <laughs> I love the ending. This is this is fantastic. This is like... This is perfect thumbnail material. <laughs> right here. <laughs> and I think... Uh, I think that's the end of the base, actually. Um, well, yeah, that was Rainforest by Pentagram123. Thank you to Penta again for letting me view your uh view her base um and uh yeah so thanks guys for watching um there will be a base off um announcement or not announcement but i guess a update uh because i think this saturday will be halfway through so you guys have i think about 24 ish more days uh 25 maybe 23. I don't know. I don't I can't I don't know when this is coming out. <laughs> I'll be real. <laughs> so, um expect a video um for me sometime probably uh the Saturday after this video gets released. And um yeah, uh base crafters like I said, uh real Zoe and I are touring, so uh there's a forum post. I'll link that somewhere too in the description if you guys want your base toured there. Um, and again, I have an EU account too, so I can tour both on the US and EU side. So if you liked your base showcase here on my channel, um, or just want some feedback on it or anything, just, uh, shoot me a message in game, a chica, just like it's spelled on YouTube. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching guys. Subscribe if you haven't, I'd really appreciate it. And, uh, come back on Wednesday for another tour. <laughs> you guys have a great week. You take care.